Ah, that face really scares me. So anyway, this is Charity with a new series called the Seven Infant Challenge with Werewolves and Vlad. So basically, we have Agnes Crumplebottom here aged down to a young adult, and I have given her probably every single trait that will make it harder for her to socialize. So she's high maintenance, hot headed, squeamish, socially awkward, good because Vlad is evil, Unflirty, unhappy infant, uncontrolled emotions, bad manners, insensitive, argumentative, and dastardly. And I also made this lot. So we have a completely free lot and also zero simoleons. So there is a functional shower and bathroom. And this is from Jungle Adventure. And then we have a fishing pond over here and a little bit of a garbage dump but this is not really functional and then the house is also not really functional you can go inside though so this door while it is not really a functional door it counts as a debug item and she can just walk right through it so it looks like she could actually live here and even though none of these items are actually functional, it should be fine because she's a, a werewolf. I was about to say vampire. No, she is a werewolf. Vlad is the vampire. Okay, so she must be clean. She gains fury with poor hygiene. All right, well, that might be an issue, but that's one of her random temperaments. I looked at the temperaments. It didn't look like any of them were that bad. I mean, maybe the one where she's angry all the time might be a problem, but I think I'm going to allow the temperaments to develop on their own. And we'll also try to get some simoleons and have seven infants with Vlad. They have to be with Vlad. It's on long lifespan and maybe we can convince him to have science babies because we definitely will not be able to romance him. And the reason why we can't romance him is because we're basically turned off by every romantic interaction. And the reason why I chose Agnes Crumplebottom, I really wanted the game to have her crumple bottom or hit with her purse everyone who tried to romance her and unfortunately that is not going to work because Agnes loses that NPC ability once she becomes part of your household so she will not be hitting anyone with her purse but since love struck came out it allowed us to assign turn ons and turn offs and basically she's turned off by everything and i also made it so that she's turned off specifically by white hair gray hair and black clothes gray clothes and white clothes which is basically the only thing that vlad wears and she's also turned off by idealist pessimistic argumentative homebodies and those relate to Vlad's traits so she's not going to be turned off by everyone but she's going to most likely not like Vlad and that's the whole point so the whole point of this is actually to make Agnes as anti-Vlad as possible and then see if we can potentially have science babies or what am I kidding myself? We're never going to get pregnant, but maybe science babies with Vlad and get to seven infants. We are on long lifespan and I was going to make this on ley line. Did I do that? No, this is cat hangout, dog hangout and mean vibe. Um, we might need to get the fertile trait and on ley line is actually the best way to do this, but I have all of the lot challenges here and we're in a haunted house. So maybe instead of mean vibe, I will put on ley line just because we want to have multiples. And I was going to make her also hate children, but I think that's kind of, inappropriate for her to want seven infants and then also hate children so i 
changed that and just gave her a whole bunch of other bad traits that are going to make her miserable all the time. So yeah, this is Cursed Agnes and she is available on the gallery. So if you would like to try something like this or just try playing with someone who is basically going to hate everyone, then go ahead and download her. She's having a tantrum right now, I guess because she has an irrational hatred for the sun. Okay, so we need all the help that we can get. First, let's pick our werewolf abilities. Now, we don't have a bed anywhere. So I think the first thing that I'm going to get is wolf nap. And then maybe scavenger, because we have a place to pee. So if I have wolf nap, then I can sleep. And then if I have scavenger, then we can dig up artifacts and things. So that's what we're going to start out with. Okay, one of the other ways that is kind of a little bit of a cheat is creating a club. So if we make a club werewolf and vampires and then make this as invite only and the club hangout is going to be here. And then the requirements, we're going to choose traits, vampire and werewolf. So that way you can add Vlad. And sometimes if you do it this way, it will actually bump your relationship up. And I think this is the only way we ever have a chance to add him to Social Bunny. And if we can add him to Social Bunny, we can get our friendship higher, but we won't be able to do this any other way. So I think this is probably the only way that we will ever get Agnes to have a good relationship with Vlad because I've tried this, you know, as for testing purposes to see what would make it most likely to be a bad relationship or a good relationship. And basically nothing will succeed. Agnes will not be able to talk to Vlad at all. And I don't think that will ever change. So my only chance is to get him on Social Bunny so that I can immediately correct any bad relationship that we have. So maybe we'll invite some of the other vampires around and then some of the werewolves. And this is going to be a really volatile club. And our club activities are going to be romantic and woohoo and kisses and hopefully this will make everyone more likely to be friendly with each other but i don't know we want to be friendly we don't want to be mean so we'll ban being mean <laughs> not like that's going to help and we're going to ban fighting because agnes is also cursed with the curse of hostility so people are going to want to fight her Okay, I think that's good enough for now. Oh, and we have a slight positive relationship with Rory and an absolutely horrible relationship with Caleb and Lilith. I don't know why. And then a slight positive with Lou and we are neutral with Vlad. Awful compatibility. Yeah. So I don't know why we got such a huge negative with Caleb and Lilith. Did we already know them? I'm pretty sure this save is kind of new but maybe not too new because it is noon for some reason i was doing some setup so maybe she already knew caleb and lilith i don't think that and she has good compatibility with caleb for some reason and lilith all right so i'm not sure why that happened she does have a slight negative with the lad oh we did not get a positive we got a slight negative which means she's not going to be able to add him on social bunny nope all i get is lou and rory <laughs> okay okay i'll go ahead and add those two to my contacts list because basically she's going to have no friends i know that's just how it's going to be so that didn't work and because that didn't work, um, I don't know how else we're going to do this. We can just try, but I can guarantee that if they interact whatsoever, that she's going to be just awful to him. So maybe what we'll try doing is we'll gather some water and then we'll go fishing. And well, she's in an angry mood. 
So maybe we should not fish because if she doesn't like fishing, then that's going to make it terrible for later on. So we'll scavenge around and get some money and maybe we can buy a mirror and improve our charisma. Okay, we managed to buy a mirror, but okay, we got our confident and hopefully we can work on our awkwardness, which will get our charisma skill up. But another way to get your charisma skill up is to throw parties. So if we were able to get a lot of money and then throw a party and get gold, it raises your charisma by like three levels and without basically without even trying. So that is the easiest way to raise charisma. Another way is just to use this mirror and work on your awkwardness, but that takes so long. I don't think that she'll ever get high enough to talk to Vlad. Oh, we have level five flower arranging and we have level six gardening. So maybe gardening and flower arranging is a way to increase our skills and increase our money. Oh, I also made her reputation like Max bad. So I've got a lucrative opportunity for someone who doesn't ask too many questions. I need you to hold on to a stack of simoleons I'm planning to launder until the trail turns cold. Sure, it may not be legal or moral, but it'll help line your pockets. You in? Sure, I'll take the money and this will be enough to get me a flower arranging table. Yeah, 1,172. Well, that was an unexpected cheat. I forgot about that. Okay, so flower arranging table is 250 simoleons. And this is pretty much the way to win in rags to riches is to use a flower arranging table. And maybe we'll get some seeds. Okay, at least some of these lights actually produce light. I like that. And did I mention we were in a haunted house? Um, I don't see Ghidri, but he's not here yet. So that means I'm going to have to get my own dinner. Okay, we have enough money to turn the fridge into something functional. This is a debug item, so it's not actually functional. We can buy a functional one now. But we still can't make anything because this is on a simple living. So... We do need to make something versus getting quick meals. And we would need a counter for that. And, and we would also need ingredients. So I'm not sure where I should put the counter. Maybe I'll get rid of this little decorative rack, even though I kind of like it. Maybe we can put the counter over here. We'll get rid of this trash. There's really not enough room in here for everything. So I don't know if she'll be able to make a garden salad like that or not. Yeah, it's a little clipping, but that's okay. It'll be fine. Oh, this is actually not off the grid. We'll have to get a different refrigerator. I have to have one that is functional off the grid. Okay, so the Crispinex Budget Deluxe is not. I thought these used to be functional off the grid, but I guess not. The cheapest one functional off the grid is the $500 one. Well, that one looks more appropriate for this house anyway. And it's a better refrigerator. Okay, for those of you who make videos, for whatever reason, The Sims has chosen not to make lighting very good outside in the dark. So unfortunately, these lights use power but these debug lights seem to not use power. So this one does. It will not show up as a light over here, but these do. So maybe I should get some more of these. These are in debug. I don't know if I can get some more because I have to find them. You can't copy them unless you have tool mod. All right, I just need a little bit of light over at the fishing hole. All right, so Agnes is going to hate fishing because, yeah, she already hates fishing. Okay, so I think I actually made her hate every single skill in the game additionally. So if it's possible to hate the skill, she already hates it. So it doesn't matter if I make her do it. I just need to get one fish so I can get something to eat because otherwise I'm going to have to buy ingredients from the grocery store and get a delivery. Oh, she got an apple. 
Well, that's in the fall season, but we might plant it anyway because having apples in an apple tree is kind of cute. <laughs> Believe it or not, haunted houses are sometimes a good thing because they can give you items. Oh, but she's enraged. I don't think that matters since she's a werewolf. I'm hoping it doesn't matter because it's going to be bad if she dies. This will be a short series. Because if she fails at this, if Agnes dies for any reason and I don't have a way to resurrect her, or if I just cannot have any kids with Vlad for whatever reason, then this is just going to be a failure. Okay, she's just no good at fishing. I'm going to send her home and go to sleep. Oh, what? Okay, so yeah, this is what I was talking about. Um, Agnes having the curse of unwarranted hostility. She woke up and Felix is immediately fighting with her. And she won. Oh, come on, stop fighting. Go to the bathroom. Okay, yeah, she can never meet Vlad in person. That's going to be a problem. Well, at least it filled up her social. Oh, I got an ecto cake. Good, that'll fix my hunger. Hey friend, I was wondering if I could stay over at your place for a few days. Let's hang out and have some fun. Yeah, sure, for the chaos, but this is not going to be fun. Rory is going to start fights with me every few seconds. Yeah, why not? Oh, there's Rory. I think she's supposed to have a suitcase, but I don't see one. A good way to make money is to have this bush over here because the cats and the dogs will go in it and come out with feathers or a little present and you can sell the things that are in there. So that's one way that we can make money and also have an extra toilet and a place for Rory to sleep. Hi there, you don't know me, but I saw you from afar and asked a mutual friend for your number. I hope you don't mind. I'm just, I'm hopelessly attracted to you. I promise I'm chill. Would you like to meet me? Ooh, mystery, of course. Um, yeah, we're after Vlad, but we're going to say yes, just because maybe we can have a friend. Probably won't work out very well. Yeah, I told you this was going to happen with Rory. I don't know how to deal with that, but she keeps winning, so that's good. How did you win against Rory? That should not have been possible. Okay, we'll introduce ourselves to Lien, but I kind of have the feeling that we're not going to get along very well. Okay, she has a neutral attraction, and she just doesn't like us very well. Maybe we can get some practice in on our charisma because this is a person that we should be able to get along with more than vlad so at least if we try to uh make friends with this person and we fail we know we definitely will fail with vlad as well yeah so they won't even cloud gaze if they don't like you very well Okay, we have awful compatibility with Lian, and she has a spouse? Why would they do that? I'm sorry, but in these romantic encounters type thing, it should favor Sims that are single, not Sims that are in a romantic relationship already, or worse yet, married. Uh, the Sims is sometimes messed up. I think we're going to get ferocity because that's actually another way that you can earn money without having to use a skill. So maybe that'll help. Flower arranging is pretty good because she doesn't like or dislike it. There's no like or dislike for flower arranging. I think that is an oversight by the Sims team. Oh, and we voted in back to the old days. So I think that's something that Agnes would vote for. Basically, it's anti-woohoo. Well, we're just not finding anything scavenging. Oh, we finally found something as soon as I say something. Okay, only 50 simoleons, though. That's not that great. Oh, we actually got the romance skill. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that seems a little bit awkward for Agnes to have the actual romance skill. But... I guess maybe she's working on herself. Well, there's Ghidri. 
Yeah, we're not going to get along great, but you think we are. The only problem with these debug lights is that they are kind of yellow. Okay, finally level two. All right, let's try introducing ourselves to Ghidri since we're tired. Maybe we can get a good night's rest from him. He will recharge your energy. But he doesn't like us. Oh, and we can't ask him for anything. Well, we can afford a dumpster. Where do we want to put it, though? Maybe over here next to all of the trash. That's kind of appropriate. Oh, she threw it away in here. I completely forgot about this thing. I actually had a functional trash can already. Oh, there's some feathers. Oh, no, wait. Are these actually working? Do I have power? It seems like maybe. Okay, if you go under lighting and you go under miscellaneous, there's these huge lights that are basically ambient light, which they are supposedly taking power. But I wonder if... No, because this one over here is definitely not lighting up. I want it to be lit up at night. I don't really care if it's not really realistic and kind of kills the vibe, but I'm recording this. So it's nice if people can see. And that's basically how I get around. Oh, we don't have any lights anywhere. And then I kind of put those street lights out here because these are from Debug. And maybe we'll pretend that those street lights are casting a light on everything, even though it's not really covering the entire lot. And then hopefully they don't turn off because sometimes things will turn off because it's a haunted house. And so it's on auto light. Oh, but the, the one bad thing about those lights is they cast a very, very bright light on Sims versus everything else. So yeah, I'm going to have to change that. We, yeah, it's because it's right above her. So if you lift them up a little bit until you see the sim not really be very bright, then that's the level that you want them to be at. It's because they're too close to the ground. They cast a really huge light on the sims and not very much on the environment and it looks terrible. So you have to kind of make a judgment call. Okay, I think that might work. And that'll give us light outside so the screen isn't totally dark at night. Okay, we're transforming. This is our first werewolf experience as a werewolf. All right, and the goal is to not scare anyone. So what I like to do is find something that's out of the way. Where is the mountain? All right, here it is. I go up here and basically scavenge the ground and keep doing that until it wears off because hopefully oh no 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 she tore up the fridge first come on basically that disqualifies her okay well we're not going to get transformation mastery i don't know why they do that it doesn't allow you to stop them any either okay we are no longer a werewolf all right, we definitely want the will to resist. So basically that gives us a chance to just remove the werewolf thing. Oh, we found an insider's guide to being a werewolf and we found some pretty good collectibles. Okay, Rory, it's a little bit cold. You might want to put on something a little bit warmer. She'll be fine though. Rory is one of the Sims that is immortal. I'm not sure if it's her werewolf ability that does it, but you basically can't kill her. Her and uh, what's his name? Christopher from the other pack. They're the leaders of those packs and they can't be killed. Okay, I know you're a squeamish sim, Agnes, but you're going to have to eat the guppy because you're hungry and I don't have anything to feed you with right now. Okay, we're fighting again. And she won again. That's so funny because Rory is supposed to be hard to beat. 
If only we could get into the werewolf pack. The only thing is we will never be able to get into the werewolf pack because Rory is always hating us. Oh yeah, we might want to repair our refrigerator. Why, hello, future Agnes. All right, let's see if we can get some flowers to plant. We have tulips, snapdragons, roses, hollies, dahlias, Christmas rose, bluebells. Bluebells are nice because you can actually scent your flower arrangements with them if you have a hard time selling them. But I really don't see anything. I need orchids is what I need. I'll get a couple of the other types of flowers just because I think they sell pretty well. Okay, and this will start our gardening arrangements. Oh, and I should get some groceries. Really? She has no tomato? Well, I guess I'm going to have to make fruit salad. Okay, we got some flowers and we got some fruit. I can't plant anything right now because she's just in a bad mood. So I guess we'll do something else. Why don't we just read a book? All right, time to test out if I can make some food in this kitchen. She's constantly breaking things. I think it's because she's a werewolf. Every time she opens the refrigerator, it breaks. Oh, no, 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 she can't do this. It would be really funny to try the seven wild dates challenge, but this is basically not going to work. Yeah, Love Isle Crumple Bottom Edition. That's not what this is. This is more like Heck Isle Crumple Bottom ed Edition. <laughs> we'll take that. Let's drink Rory's orange juice that she just got out of the fridge. Okay, these lights are no longer working, and it's because I'm off the grid and don't have the power for them. So I need to take them off and find those other little lamps wherever they are that don't consume power. Okay, I finally found them and they're Snowy Escape. So they have a red filtered one, a blue filtered one, and a yellow filtered one. The yellow one kind of looks the most natural. It's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. And then if you put a yellow and a blue one then it kind of looks natural and then if you mix the red one as well you might actually get a decent outdoor light so the idea is to place them around areas where your sims are going to be and you don't actually want it to be dark and these don't cost any power and also the haunted house effect doesn't turn them off now, normally I'm okay with it being a little bit dark when I'm playing without recording, but when I'm recording, I want it to be lit up. I want people to be able to see what's going on, even if it's nighttime. So I'm just going to put a few of these around and just act like, well, we placed some lights outside because this is like a junkyard and people are sometimes coming here to work. And then, of course, Agnes is going to be working sometimes in the dark back here when she's working on her flower arranging. And she doesn't go to sleep right when the sun goes down, so she needs some light. Well, there's a volcanic bomb. Okay, we're changing again. Hopefully we can regain control. Um, well. I guess I screwed up the outfits. I checked though. I didn't see it was screwed up. Oh well, I'll have to redo it later. That is not what she's supposed to be wearing. Okay, at least she didn't tear anything up this time. So she has a chance if she gets to the top of the mountain and can stay up there until she changes back that she will get the transformation mastery. Okay, I got Transformation Mastery. That's important because a lot of the things you do as a werewolf require it. Oh, this is interesting. So we get the money, money, give me now or under what conditions? Uh, I don't think that I could get anyone to marry Agnes. She just makes everyone pissed. So we're going to do under what conditions to get the 2,500 simoleons. 
All right, well, that's a good start. Now that we have that much, I think what I'll do is I'll build an actual building over here, maybe to mimic the one that I currently have. Oh, we found a TV. Oh, that's awesome. I'm going to sell that, but it's awesome. So we're not doing so bad in getting our start. Maybe I can build a little house here that has a bassinet in it and a nursery and maybe get some cribs so that we can at least have a place for the infants. And we need to have a house that is capable of supporting seven infants first. Oh no, I'm getting into a fight again, but I won. Oh, it's worth 3,000 simoleons. Okay, now I have 6,400 simoleons. Let's see if I can make enough of a house to house the infants. Maybe I will hold off on building real walls for a little bit. The only thing is I did not leave myself very much space. This is a really tiny house. Well, let's get a proper bathtub and call that the first step. Okay, and the only thing is if I have a bathtub in the house, that's going to create a problem with people using the bathtub and kicking me out. So maybe we should build a wall around the bathtub, which means we will also need a door. Okay, I'm kind of liking that. I'm not sure if it's usable, but let's hope that it's usable. Oh, this thing is sticking through. Let's change that so that it faces the other way. Okay, so now we have a place where we can bathe the babies. And we have a place to make food because we have all of that. And maybe we'll buy an actual stove, although that could be a problem. Maybe hold off on the stove and just keep the counter. Okay, I definitely need some more space because this is not going to work. Okay, I'm quite proud of myself for this one. So for those of you who are new to building, if you look at this area right here, it has a ton of clutter and it would be nice if we could just pick it up and move it. Well, you can just put down one of these flat squares, make it a little bit bigger, put it right here and underneath this and, and notice that it didn't move anything and then move it. And then it just moves everything as one single unit. And that's so awesome because I just want to make the house bigger. And what I'll do is turn this into like the bedroom area so maybe a couple more tiles because this will give us three spaces. I want to have two spaces, a space that's a walkway and then two spaces because that'll allow me to put a bunch of cribs in a row. Now, the only thing is that you want to get rid of it after you've moved it. So I think this should work. Yeah, so that works. Just delete it. And then everything is moved the way it should be, which is awesome because I know that some of it didn't move, like these back walls over here didn't move, but that's okay. I can deal with that. What I might do actually is turn this into actual walls. So we'll get rid of these walls back here. Okay, I'm still going to use the roof pieces for the sides of the house just because that's a little bit cheaper. And I have to make the wall a little bit smaller because of that. All right, now we're going to put a wall in here and we're going to need another door. Okay, now let's turn these windows into actual windows. Um, I don't even think we have these windows. They should be cottage living. Oh, there they are. Okay, we'll stay with the stone on that side but I think I'm going to go with the wallpaper over here. Okay, so this will be the baby room and oh, I do have a lot of dust. I need to unfortunately vacuum, but I don't have a vacuum that will work. And I need some more lights. 
Should I just go ahead and break down and get functional actual lights? Maybe. But I don't want any that consume power. So this is the best one. At least I think it is. I'm not going to pay for the outdoor lights though. The outdoor lights are going to stay the way they are because I don't feel like paying for them. All right, maybe I'll go for a floor in here and then we need bassinets and beds. So unless I want to actually have the bassinet up here by itself, that might be easier. I could go for the free bassinet but I will need infant stuff. So what do we want to use for infant things? The cheapest ones, of course, are the contemporary cribs and the kinder made ones, but they don't really fit the vibe. I think Agnes is going to want the mission crib, which is unfortunately a little pricey. And of course, I didn't quite make this large enough. Well, this is the benefit of organizing it ahead of time. I think that should be fine. Okay, so that's enough for all of our infants to have cribs. Um, and we got a bathtub. And I think that's the bare minimum. We might need a high chair eventually just because it makes it easier to feed them because you don't have to pay anything for it. I think I'm going to go ahead and get a high chair. And I think that's it. They don't need anything else that's absolutely necessary. So the only other step I can think of is we need to actually have the babies, <laughs> which means we need to meet Vlad in person and convince him to have a, a science baby. Um, I'm not sure how that will go over, Probably not very well. Okay, let's just make sure that we can actually get to that bathtub. Okay, yeah, the bathtub looks fine. Oh, the wealthy weirdo. Um, I'm going to say perhaps maybe we will go meet Clement Frost because that's hilarious. I love it when Clement is the wealthy weirdo because it really makes sense since he has 500,000 simoleons in his uh, household funds. Maybe the next step we'll take is to clean up all of this trash outside and make it an appropriate place to raise kids. I honestly did that just for decoration. So maybe we'll put something else over here or expand the house in this direction. I'm not sure what else we can do in this section over here. Okay, on our way to meet the wealthy weirdo. Okay, well, at least we got a few things. Okay, I think think this will work as a dining table. I hope it will because I want to have a dinner party. Okay, before we have a party, we're going to cook something in order to have something to serve right away because that almost guarantees that you at least get a bronze. And I'm going to put it in my inventory so that no one else can take it. Okay, here we go. We want a dinner party. Should we invite Vlad? I'm not sure that we should. In fact, I'm pretty sure we shouldn't. But that might be interesting. We haven't met him yet. Why don't we invite over everyone in the club? That is going to be a mistake, but we'll do it anyway. Okay, and we'll immediately call everyone to meal. Although I'm pretty sure the vampires won't be happy with that because they won't be able to eat. And then where is Ghidri? Where did you go, Ghidri? Oh, there you are. I need to ask you for some energy. Maybe if we just don't talk to Vlad and we have a good dinner party, that will make our friendship go up. I think it actually will if we can avoid talking to him. Okay, we need to thank a guest for coming and to make a group meal, and I don't have a stereo, so that might be a problem. 
Well, I don't think we're going to get the stereo part because there isn't any stereo that's off the grid, unfortunately. So we will have to try and do all of the other things for this party. And of course, Agnes doesn't like comedy. In fact, I think her original Sim didn't like comedy either. But I'm going to tell two jokes just so I can get the party goal met. Okay, I have silver. I don't think I'm going to be able to get gold because of that stereo issue. And having Sims drink at the same time? Well, I do have a nectar bottle in here. Oh no, she's green. I can't let her get next to Vlad when she's green. Oh, of course, she walked right by him and their bar went up. Great. That's not going to be good. All right, where are you going to set these down? Oh, of course, outside, next to Vlad. Great. And you're going to make everybody not like you. Okay, hopefully everyone else starts drinking. Okay, drink the nectar, please. Come on, guys, drink up. I think I have to buy a bar and pour a drink for the group in order for this to work. I don't think they'll just randomly pick it up in time. Because by the time they start drinking, I will be done with my drink. Yeah, I'm already done. Okay, what's the cheapest bar? Oh, I can actually get this one. This one's only 310 and I just have to buy a plate of drinks. And then I can call everyone to get a drink, which is what you should be able to do with the nectar, but you can't. Oh no, what are you, what are you doing? You're all the way over here fighting. All right, at least she's not fighting with Vlad. She's fighting with Ghidri. And now she despises Ghidri. Well, it's better than her despising Vlad. Can I bribe him for friendship? I know that doesn't really work very well though. All right, so make a dessert. Another thing I really can't do. Not unless fruit salad counts as a dessert, and I know it doesn't. Well, all right, we're just going to get silver. I'm going to make everyone go home now. Did I get anything for that? No. Come on, I don't get anything for silver. I know you get a lot of stuff for gold, but man, that stinks. I did that for nothing. All right, I'm going to need a way to make a dessert and a way to have a stereo in here. Okay, we made this little area over here. I don't really like that path though. The color is just wrong. Let's change the color of that path. Okay, that's not much better, but it is what it is. It's kind of like a rock path that they have built from the front to this little gazebo area. and. That's where she's going to have her parties. I put the dumpster over here. So it's a little bit out of the way of the house, but it's not so far away that it doesn't make sense. So the only thing is that this room tends to go dark because no one is in it and I don't have any of my debug lights in it, but that's fine. I guess it's fine for now. Well, Temperance is here, and I don't know why, but Agnes seems to be winning every single fight she gets into. Oh, I found a dragon fruit in the prairie grass. Well, that's handy. It's not fall, though, so if I plant it, I really won't get any yet. Oh, finally, she has a tomato. That's good. I need tomatoes. And, of course, she has an orchid. I don't have the money. I need to go back and earn the money for it. Hey, Agnes, it's me, Clement. Do you want to go out on a date? Um, no thanks. I mean, I really need to get Vlad to get me to go out on a date, but that's probably a bad idea too. I mean, she only wants to give flowers. The other things she ignores. So I don't think that I need to go out on a date today, even though it's love day. So we'll give Umber Grove a tulip and he doesn't like it. So that's fine. We satisfied the holiday. And now he's fighting us for some reason. I was going to have a dinner party, but then I just remembered it's the middle of the day. I can't have a dinner party and invite Vlad. That would be a really bad idea. Okay, I do have a potion of curse cleansing. 
in the reward store that I can get. So I'm going to try that in order to remove my curses of hostility and repulsiveness. Now, since she's not a magic user, these actually might backfire. Oh, it removed all of her curses. Well, that's nice. I didn't know it removed all of them. I thought it just tried to remove some of them. Well, it was successful, so I'm going to allow that just because that's super annoying and she was getting into fights all of the time. Now, if we can just get you to stop being squeamish and also high maintenance and socially awkward. Okay, we'll try another dinner party. Okay, for dancing at the same time, I think we can do that with one of the dance floors, right? What if I invite Vlad to join cooking? That sometimes builds friendship, right? It does. Vlad, can you join cooking quick before I finish? Oh, I don't think he did. And it's because he has that stupid bat ability. Well, I'm going to call everyone to a meal. And everyone should be eating at the same time, right? If I call you all to a meal. Oh, come on. Eat at the same time. It's like the vampires don't do that. Okay, so I need to make a dessert. No, it still says in order to dance, there has to be music playing nearby. I could have sworn that you could dance on the dance floor without there being music. Okay, let's hope I can make this dessert without starting a fire highly unlikely since i'm super tense well i was able to finish the cake okay unfortunately everyone is too uncomfortable okay maybe we can clean this area up a little bit okay where is everyone you guys are supposed to come over here and beastie boogie Oh, you're too uncomfortable. Why? I guess because they ate something first. Come on, everybody. Beastie Boogie, hurry up. All right. And that's it. We're done. Okay, I got a gold dinner party. I still did not earn a whole bunch of charisma. Why not? Maybe that was just a bug? I remember throwing a dinner party and getting a ton of charisma a bunch of times. And now it's just not working. Well, anyway, that's a good start, but that's the end of the week. We actually got enough money to build a small house with most of what we need. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas on how to make friends with Vlad or get him to have a science baby or have woohoo. So this is Charity. Thanks for watching.